Hi Scorpio, welcome to your mid-month reading. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. For the month of July, as usual, I have two special uh, sales offer available and one uh, it's a mid-year reading it's a reading that, uh, that looks into the second half of 2019 and what kind of changes opportunities challenges might be a part of that time frame for you and the other one is called the tides it's a reading that was created looking up here to themes of the current um, cancer season we are on and it looks upon emotional currents what kind of new emotional experiences are coming to you and the ones that are going away so if you would like to know more details about those special offers or any other of my services just email me or if you would like to donate and support my channel you can also do so by uh, following the PayPal link which is down below so Scorpio, I do feel like some of you during mid-July, things might get a little bit out of control when it comes to conflicts, anger, frustration. Uh, there's a sense of a buildup that has been happening between you and someone um, that might come to... It might come to a blowout moment or, you know, if you have been avoiding the fight, if you have been avoiding saying something, if you have been avoiding getting there, because you know that once you get to confront a situation as you truly see it and feel it, it's going to get somehow... Um, the, the word is just going to get dirty. So it's just feeling like it's, there's something here that it's not really good or of benefit to your life. And I feel like this need, this deals with a person um, that you're tired of, you're fed up of, you just can't stand anymore, or a person that has made your life um, recently very difficult. Tower and the Queen of Swords and the Page of Swords. So to say that some of you Scorpios are going to be upset is, you know, understatement. There's something here about really being upset, being angry, being, you know, hurt, being bitter, you or someone, because of, uh, I do feel like a lack of respect, or just getting to realize who you're really dealing with, there's a feeling of some of you really getting to see the colors of someone, like someone or something in your life that you were unaware of, of what the reality was, you were kind of picking on weird vibes, or you're picking on on some sense of lack of clarity, lack of notion of what was there. There's something coming out that was hidden, like hidden in terms of the full picture. You were not able to see the full picture um, of something that was going on between you and this Queen of Swords, or between you and someone Especially Scorpios that are dealing with air signs, uh, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy. Or if you have Scorpio, a lot of air as well in your chart. It could be that this is in particular a message for you where <clears throat> what you have been wondering when it comes to motivations, when it comes to incompatibilities. It could just be a simple thing about of incompatibility. Um... You're going to get to know. It's like you will know what you have been wanting to know. If you're going to like it, what you're going to see, I feel like the majority of you won't. The majority of you won't like what you are seeing, but you're going to be given a chance to break free from something that truly has been holding you down into this sea of you know, illusions and paranoia and fears and obsession. And I feel like some of you have been lost because of this, right? You have been obsessively thinking about something or someone that you couldn't really, really, really pin down, right? You couldn't really get to understand their game, their intentions, their... Um, manipulation if it's like you know when we feel weird about someone but we don't know because 
apparently there's nothing wrong with them. They're actually being great to us, but we still feel something there is not right. And Scorpius can really be pros in with the, those type of experiences and spotting that. I feel like if you have been feeling that, again, this mid-July brings the confirmation. It brings the confirmation that, yes, there's something wrong. That, yes, there's something incompatible. That, yes, uh, you're just not on the same page. It could just be that you and someone are not in the same page. I do feel like some of you are saying goodbye to someone. And it feels like through communication. So it could even be that it's not face-to-face. -face. For some of you, it will be. For some of you, it will be through communication. Like... You're saying goodbye to someone uh, that, uh, that you come to realize is not for you. Or you're just saying something that you have been holding yourself from saying. And you're putting it, putting it out like a blowout again. Like vomiting here the truth. Vomiting here what you really think about someone. There is a sense of appre 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 apprehension though. It's like... Scorpios, there's a warning. You might be dealing with someone that, you know, uh, that once is someone that can really be vengeful. Someone that can really play here and get a dirty game. So be mindful. <coughs> I'm sorry. Be mindful that you might attack and get as well attacked hard. That this person might not let it go as you are trying to let it go. That you might get yourself involved in a situation where someone's resent, uh, resentment or anger towards you is going to just be even more fueled by whatever this conflict or this harsh communication is about. Some of you have a really angry ex. Some of you have a really jealous friend. Some of you have a really, you know, pissed person. And this person, it feels like... It's just a poison here, like a feeling of poison, something poisonous with the words. It can really hurt with the words and you might be the one. There's two options. I do feel like there's conflict still between, between you, you and an energy that is aggressive, right? Whatever that is, you might get into a fight in your workplace or with your family or, the, or with your partner. Uh, and that that might be it. But for some of you, Scorpios, it's deeper. It's something that is really a word of caution here because be mindful of who you're dealing with. There might not be easy targets. They're not people that are just going to, you're going to fight with and let it go. They're going to fight, they're going to pursue you until they feel they have their revenge. So either this being you, you can always reverse the story here. You can this either being you or being someone doing. The message is be careful with the means justify the ends kind of tactics. Be careful with what you say. Be careful with what you do. Make sure you're doing things with full understanding of what you're dealing with. As balanced as possible. In a balanced state as possible because if you let anger get to you rage right being so upset that you're capable of saying and doing as well a lot of things that otherwise you wouldn't <clears throat> you can be again it, fighting fire with fire there's this there's duel there's a real sense of rivals here a real sense of you finding someone that can get as mad as you they can get as crazy as you, as upset with you, the same level. And we all know that the rage levels that come from Scorpio energy, once they are out, they're one of the highest ones. So just a word of caution there. Others of you, you're disagreeing, you're letting go, you're moving away from the things that upset you. For others of you, it will be a matter of just allowing yourself to be pulled away 
from everything that triggers you and sets, sets you off. So if you know that uh, you, every time you go um, have a family, um, uh, go to a family get together or a meal um, at your parents' house, if you know that the tendency right now for things to get out of control and they start to upset you and trigger you and make you questions you don't want to answer, perhaps consider not going at least this week or the next week. At least consider, you know, pulling away from the things that you know get you upset, from the things you know that you're not able right now to to deal with because you're impatient, Scorpio, during this um, mid-month feels so high. You're very impatient and very nervous and you can get aggressive and people can get as well as a response to that aggressive to you. So be mindful of that. So Scorpio, I hope you have a great mid-month. Thank you so much for all of you that have been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting and donating to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hopefully we'll see each other soon.